Are you struggling to get your first photo or video client? Today I'm teaching you exactly how to land your first paying client. I'm walking through a strategy I use and showing you how to apply this yourself. Hey there, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Chris. I'm teaching you photography and how to start a creative business. I'm posting videos three times a week, so subscribe to stay notified. Today I'm teaching you how to get your first photo or video client. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're starting out in the creative business. It's a fun and rewarding place to be, but it takes a lot of hard work. I'm guessing you're trying to land that first photography or video client. This isn't easy, but with the right preparation and action, anyone can do this. Once you decide that you want to start in the photo and video industry, you need to establish a niche. I've talked about this in depth in my video about building a niche, so please check that out. You basically want to become the photographer or videographer for a certain industry or topic. I'm a product photographer, more specifically, a food and beverage photographer. If you go to my business website, all you see is photo and video of food and beverage. That makes me trustworthy with future clients. They'll go to my website, see that's what I do, and they'll immediately know that I can solve their content needs. Now you might be saying, Chris, that sounds great, but I don't have any clients yet. How can I establish a niche? Well, you need to work for free to build up your portfolio. You need examples of the work you're trying to do. No one's gonna hire you if you don't have an example of what you're preaching. You may be the best of the best, but if you don't have anything to back that up, no one's gonna believe you. There are a lot of photographers that have work examples, so clients are gonna go with them instead. Let me tell you what I did. When I was trying to build up my portfolio, I looked around the house for food products and I photographed them. I remember pulling a bottle of scotch from the shelf and trying to make it look as cool as possible. Was I getting paid? No, but I was investing my future business. In addition to this, I offered to do photo shoots for free for coffee companies. I did this so that I could build up my portfolio and more importantly, say that I've worked with Blank Coffee Co. By having this experience under my belt, I became that much more trustworthy. I was someone that had worked in the industry with a real brand, so I had credibility. Now I worked with them for free, but that was worth the credibility I built up. Where can you find these businesses to work for free for? Start small. My first client was a local coffee shop. I walked in and talked with the owner. I introduced myself, told them what I do, and then offered some cool ideas. I saw they were selling bottles of cold brew in store, but they didn't have these up on their website or their Instagram. So I was like, hey, these bottles are sweet. I can create some awesome content using them. Can I take these home and send you some photos in a few days that you can use for your website? They agreed. And that was the first step in me building up my credibility as a food and beverage photographer. So start small. Go into local businesses near you and offer ideas and content for them. You're probably gonna get rejected by a few of these businesses despite offering free work. That's okay. Keep in mind, this is a numbers game, so don't get discouraged. Keep approaching them until you get that client. Okay, so by now you've probably got that first experience. Let's make some money. You took some photos for free for that first client. Think of this as investing in your business. You didn't make money, but the credibility you earned will now pay dividends down the road. Let's use that credibility. We're gonna take a similar approach to what we did before. We're gonna start reaching out to brands either via phone or email. I go in depth through the email approach in my client outreach video, so watch that if you need help drafting those emails. The approach we're talking is finding businesses that are in our niche and that could use our services. Since we worked with a coffee shop, we now have those photos to put on our website. Every time you reach out to a new coffee company, Reference that project. Say something like, I've worked with Blank Coffee Co. before and I would love to do something similar for your brand. Once your prospective client sees that, they'll probably check out your website and see your previous work. If they have a need for your content, they'll respond positively. This is all because you've already established credibility in that niche and you have a proven track record. Because you did that free work earlier, this paid opportunity is available for you. Now, you might have to email five, 10, 20 companies before you get a response. Don't get discouraged. When they do respond, you're gonna have to share some ideas and send over a proposal. If you wanna learn more about proposals, check out my proposal video. I go in depth into the process there. And that's basically it. Establish yourself as a creator in a specific niche. Build up credibility by offering to work for free. This is you investing in your business. Once you have real examples of your work, reach out to brands in that same niche for pay work. This is going to be a numbers game. Get used to being rejected. Once you start getting more and more work, the clients are going to snowball. The more work you have, the more reputable you are. Keep grinding and don't give up. You can do this. If you've watched this far, thank you. I think it's awesome that you're trying to learn the creative business. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I'm putting out content like this three times a week, so I'd love to have you along for the journey. I'll see you in the next one.